Hey everybody, John with OWL. Today we are going to be talking about hood struts. This is one of those dead simple products that you can install in your van and you will like it every time you go to fill up with DEF, check your oil, uh, clean your engine bay, air filter, anything. Just being able to lift that hood and be done with it, it's fantastic. Install. Install is dead simple. This is definitely something that you can do in like 15 minutes with very little uh, experience. If you're not a DIY person, you're not familiar with working on vans, this is still uh, a crazy simple thing that you can do yourself. So please try it. All right, here we go. Well, the first thing you're gonna notice in your kit is you should get two hood struts. These are about 11 inches long and these are what's gonna hold your hood up uh, when you lift it, it's just gonna lift automatically. So these we don't need yet. We're gonna go outside and deal with that. Um, just kind of going over what parts you need to install. You're gonna need basically three open-ended wrenches. We're gonna mix it up a little bit between metric and standard. If you're annoyed by that, I am too. Uh, feel free, uh, ask me sometime at a show, I'll explain why we're that way. But for the purposes of this video, you will need a 10 mil to get one of the nuts off of your uh, sprinter. And then to install this stuff, you're gonna need a 7 16 and a one half or a half inch. And the first thing you wanna do, these are the base for the gas struts that go on. And we put a nut and a ball end on this, but you're gonna to wanna to obviously tighten that up. We have to assemble many of these. And so we put that on there so you know where it goes, but it's up to you to tighten it. And so uh, obviously this is fairly straightforward. If you can't accomplish this part of it, then maybe you should have professional install. But you just tighten this up. It doesn't need to be crazy tight, but you don't want it to move. So the first thing you're gonna do is just tighten up these ball end joints here. We'll get the other one going. All right, so those two are tight and then you can set those off to the side. Then you're gonna have this bag of hardware here. The way this works, there are these little machined, over here, a little machined aluminum washers. These are going to sandwich the Mercedes part. So it's gonna go like this. And then you're also gonna have on the side that the ball end goes through, right? So the way we, we build this up to put it on the van is we go black washer, machined aluminum washer, and the step down is facing up. And then we're gonna put it through the van. And then this other aluminum washer is gonna cap it off. And then you should also have a nylock nut on the back side. And then you can tighten all that stuff down. So that's enough for in here. You've got your tools, you've tightened down kind of the bases of the units. Let's hop outside and put it on the van. We made it out to the vehicle. We are ready to get started. Now, as you can see, the hood on this van is already open. And that's the first thing that we have to get rid of is this. Or I shouldn't say the first thing. It's one of the things we have to get rid of. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and put um, the gas strut on the far side first and just leave that to hold the hood open. And then the single-sided strut actually isn't gonna hold this up, so we're gonna have to prop it open with something. I just used a piece of aluminum I had laying around. You really can use anything you want. So I just got an aluminum tube like this, but we'll leave the hood a little bit more open for now and we'll get that first side going. So we wanna start with a 10 mil open-ended wrench or I have a 10 mil socket. And what we wanna do is come over here and start by removing this fender bolt right here. This is a bit nicked up, but that's because we've been uh, installing and, and removing prototypes over a while. But yours should look better than this, but this bolt that I've already loosened, you obviously can't take it out with your hand normally. This is a 10 mil bolt. You wanna take that out because that is what we're gonna be attaching our bottom to. So you will back this out with your 10 mil wrench or socket. And then just set that aside because we are going to reuse this bolt. So we talked about this initially, you should have already tightened uh, this ball end with that nut and this bracket. The way this installs is uh, right like this. Let me get you a little bit closer. This installs just like that. And what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you leave it up a little bit because as we tighten it, it'll suck down. So uh, if you leave it purely down, it might, it has a tendency to put this bolt in a little bit crooked. So leave it up a little bit until you can make sure you get this bolt in very straight. You don't wanna cross thread it and you should be able to screw it kind of down without it tilting or cross threading. That's the only thing you wanna worry about. Once you make sure that you get that bolt in nice and snug, then you can tighten that down with your socket or your open-ended wrench. 
nice and snug there for that. And then we want to find this spot up here. You guys can't see that, can you? Then you want to find this spot up here, which is right where that kind of the hood bolts in. This is where you're going to put that second ball end. Here's that other part we talked about before. And again, you want to have the ball sticking towards the engine. And the same is true about that black washer. So again, the way this is going to assemble is you've got the ball end, then you've got your black washer, then you've got your machined aluminum washer, and that's gonna fit right there. You see this machined aluminum washer fits securely in that hole, uh, the factory hole. So you place this ball end in, and then you wanna sandwich so both smaller ends of the washer go in towards each other. So what I mean is, see how it's got a smaller end there and a smaller end there? Those are going to sandwich the factory part. That's fairly straightforward. And then you take the nut and you throw that on. Then it's simple as grabbing the ball end and the nut and tightening it down. Okay. So here's how it should look. Nut. Aluminum washer, aluminum washer, black washer, ball end. And of course, the opposite side of the vehicle is going to be a mirror image of this. So again, the ball end is gonna be facing in towards the engine bay. Now it's time to put on the strut and we've got one side done. All right, so now we're ready for the gas struts. And I wanna show you a little bit of a difference and this will probably go away over time as we are able to manufacture these in bulk. But this is actually an odd length and odd strength of gas strut. And so um, it's very difficult to find these in the quantities we need. So we actually have two companies that we source them from, and they have slightly different ends. Now, of course, you'll get two that match. Uh, no difference in them other than the ends are slightly different. And the reason I point that out is when you're putting them on, um, they might look different from the video. So I'm going to use one of each but there's really no difference in them. So for you, it won't make a difference, but I just want to make sure that in case yours doesn't look exactly like the video, just because they both accomplish the same thing, but they look slightly different. So that's the reason right there. So you don't have to call an ass. Now when you're putting this on, I, just for aesthetics, I usually put the larger barrel side up top and I actually usually put the bottom one on first and you just press them on, just pull it. Now it's on the bottom. And then it's a little bit hard with one person, but you're gonna to wanna to take the hood and you're gonna to wanna to undo the far side so it can go all the way up. And then you're gonna to have to actually stretch the hood up a fair amount to get this on. It's really hard to do one-handed. There you go. So you just push the hood up and then push with your other one, it'll snap on. Now now that I only have one on, oh, is it gonna hold the hood up? Woo! -hoo! Well, it doesn't always do that. So one is just one strut is just at the very limit of holding the hood up. So it's holding the hood up right now, so that's a good thing. Now let's talk about taking off the other side. Okay, to remove this hood pin, uh, what you wanna do is first remove the metal pin. You want it loose on the bottom. Uh, you may need something to prop your hood up while you do it. You pull the pin, that came out quite easily, but you need to pull the pin straight out first, and then you can remove the plastic part after and you can actually just use the pin to help ease that out if you want i'm kind of avoiding destroying my knuckles here just push it with your thumb and it pops right out so that part is out now to install this side it's going to be exactly i'll sneak in here the edge uh to install this side it's exactly the same as the other side no difference bottom top strut and go from there as i'm putting on the second gas strut, I want to talk a little bit about these ends as well. Uh, now, one of the things, sometimes these ends don't tighten exactly here. This one's facing here and this one's facing here. Um, obviously, they need to line up. You can just back it off a quarter turn. It's not going to obviously lo loosen. It's captive on there. So that's how you solve that if you have that issue. And voila, as they say. Hood strut on the passenger side, hood strut on the driver's side. Let's see if it works. Oh my God, the hood closes. And when we lift it to open it, there you have it. Hood strut kits available now. If you have any questions about these kits, feel free to talk to our customer service. 
Uh, they're always around to answer the phones, and we have tons of other products and information on our website. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs>